What about irradiation? The radiation, gamma radiation. So if we wanted to actually preserve the boxes and the frames and we believe we've got good quality gear and it's worthwhile expending a bit more effort into trying to salvage the material, uh, we can prepare the material for gamma radiation in the same manner. Prefer not to use petrol to kill the bees because the petrol will contaminate the combs themselves. Um, so we take all the bees off, we extract any of the honey that might be in the combs and then we prepare the boxes by wrapping them in plastic uh, as long as they're not weighing more than 25 kilograms and then they're prepared basically to take down the irradiation plant. The irradiation plant in Sydney and Melbourne and Brisbane are very efficient or they're 100% effective in uh, killing any diseased material in the combs. So when we get this comb back from the irradiation plant there's absolutely no live bacterial spores left in the combs. You can still visually see the actual uh, disease symptoms, but there's nothing viable there anymore. So they're essentially sterilised. You could probably eat your tea off them if you needed to. Will that have any impact though on recolonising that hive? No. Uh, what happens with irradiated material is bees do extremely well on it. They, uh, they do seem to bounce away. It's nearly like it's brand new equipment for them. There's no pathogens there at all. So there's not just American fowl brood it's knocking out. It's also knocking out the nosema spores and European fowl brood and chalk brood as well. So bees do extremely well on a gamma radiating equipment. The, in the gamma radiation plant, uh, the temperature rise is only about 2 degrees. Uh, it's the gamma, radi gamma rays that are actually killing the bacteria, not the temperature. But it doesn't affect the, the, uh, the uh, beeswax at all. But it's important to extract all the honey and make sure it's free of uh, bees, moths, and spiders etc before you take it down. There's a list of requirements the irradiation plant uh, like you to adhere to and that's a commercial activity between you and the plant in taking the material down there and having an irradiator picking it up. You have to adhere to their conditions.